Okay, so let's talk, start talking about this movie because it is so epic. It oh, is yeah. such an amazing movie, <laughs> just full of action. Can you talk about that? Um, I mean, th this this movie is 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 larger than life. It's it's epic. Um, it's it's a it's a scale that is is hard to imagine. Um, it's nice. I mean, knowing that uh, that that Pacific Rim handled the giant world, the giant realm in which the heroes are kind of like semi gods. Um, for me, it was something that I, I, I love being involved in, um, and the scale is just absolutely crazy to me. And we had fun with that. And there was like non-stop action. There's not a second where you're sitting down. I mean, in Pacific Rim, I mean, it's, it's, it's non-stop action. I mean, the, the, the pace is, 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 is fast. And that's because of the kaiju. I mean, they, once they have their first attack, it just doesn't stop. And, and you know, we're, we're playing catch up as human beings in this movie. And I love your character because he's the hero, yet he's also an anti-hero. Yeah. And I love that he plays a father figure. And it's you with Kelly who is just phenomenal in this yeah. role as well. There's so much empowerment. Mm -hmm. I, I, what, what's, what's great about this is that, um, well, it's a movie with a whole bunch of young people, but within that group, you find that, you know, Jake takes kind of like a, a mental figure for Kaylee's character, um, Amara. Um, but at the same time, there's something that each of them can learn from each other. Um, and and they, they form a tight-knit group. And you're also a producer on this film, so yes. that's kind of incredible. So tell me about shaping this film, not only as a producer, but also as an actor. I mean, coming into this movie um, as an actor was a process that I, I knew about, that I was used to, and that I was on top of. But then also coming into this as a producer, um, it being new for us at my company was something that was um, uh, uh, definitely a, a marathon. Uh, it was a marathon run. You know, I had to had to get, jump on the horse while it was moving um, and, and learn different things and discover different things at the same time. But also it, in terms of my training and the education that I've, that I've, I've been able to collect on the way, I was able to you know, exercise that during this process and it was, it was fun, I enjoy it. I'm doing it again. That's awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the challenges in this movie because not only did you just get on a horse that was already running, mm -hmm. you ran a lot in this movie <laughs> <laughs> in like full armor. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Did you expect so much physicality while filming this? I mean, first, you know, talking to Steve Knight, our director, and then speaking to our, our uh, producing team about the ideas they had for Pacific Rim, like I knew it was going to be very, very physical. Um, we knew we didn't want to just go into the world of the Jaegers and the action just to exist within the, f the main fight. We wanted there to be some form of action in Jake's life, you know, as a Jaeger part stealer. Um, and so that's something that we implemented. And as, you know, they would write ideas and we would go back, go back and forth. And I was just like, wow, an actor is actually going to supposed to do this. Are we sure we're not doing too much? But, uh, you know, it worked out, you know, more action, more fun. And speaking of fun, you guys have so many toys that are so interesting on the set. Oh, yes. And of course, behind the scenes, tell me your favorite. Uh, I mean, this, this one we're sitting in right here, the robot head for Gypsy, which was attached to a hydraulic that, that, that moved. Um, so this was definitely my favorite little toy on set to uh, have fun in. 